Hey. Hey. You appear dispirited, though I suppose that is understandable, given... Please spend your time however you want. We can get to the all Captain Raymond, Miss Chloe. The unidentified ship is now 30 minutes away. Hopefully, it's nothing to worry about. Status report. Unidentified vessel is 24 minutes away. Registration remains unknown. Aldous's ETA is 8 hours 20 minutes. Line up tactical and schematic displays. Map the unidentified ship's position on tactical and include their predicted course. Elena. I need you to perform Eclipse tactics as soon as they exit warp. Roger. Um, what exactly are Eclipse tactics again? The idea is, we will conceal our position from their sensors, using the shadow of Aster 4. You gotta know at least that much if you intend to stay up here. Uh, I only know it from lectures at the Academy. Ships need to adhere to an orbital trajectory in order to remain near planets. So it is impossible to maintain a fixed position within interstellar space. In short, by referencing the trajectory of the other ship and the size, rotation, and revolution of the planet, we make minute adjustments to our own orbital trajectory to ensure the planet is constantly between us and the other ship. Okay, so we'll never know each other's exact positions. Doesn't that mean we won't be able to fire on them? Exactly. It's a move not for attacking, you see, but for buying time. Unidentified ship is 15 minutes away and exiting warp. Unidentified ship reduced thrusters to one fourth thrust. It's here. Mariel, red alert. Sayuri, prepare to execute eclipse tactics. Elena, I want to get a look at this ship before we enter the planet's shadow. Switch the screen to max optical magnification. Unidentified ship, on screen. What the... this ship? It does not exist in my database. This is a Scorpium construct. So you're telling me this is a Scorpium ship? While there is no issue with considering it a Scorpium vessel for the sake of convenience, what appears to your eyes as a spaceship, all of it entirely, is in fact a single Scorpium cybernetic life form. So the ship is alive. I see. Quite fascinating. Henceforth, I will refer to the object as a Scorpium vessel. Captain, the Scorpium vessel has entered an oppositional orbit to our own. We can now only estimate its current orbital trajectory. Now it's a question of whether we can hold out long enough for Antonio to arrive. But it doesn't seem like we're what they're after, though. Its outward appearance gives no clue to its combat abilities. Speaking in terms of Pan-Galactic Federation vessels, its offensive capabilities are on par with a battleship. So we're outmatched. Great, let's hope it doesn't come to that. We, Scorpion, will never attack others without reason or without warning. Yeah, that's the same with humanoids. It just means if we get attacked, it'll be for some reason we don't know about. The Scorpion battleship is maintaining its opposing orbit. 
They are likely aware of us as well, so I believe it is safe to assume they do not mean to attack. And the Aldis is about eight hours away. Hopefully they continue to play nice. Hmm. In hindsight, maybe we should have just left this sector after all. If they don't intend to attack us, then can't we just go? The fact that our own long-distance sensors detected the Scorpion vessel means we cannot slip by undetected. What is the warp speed of this ship? 11 normal, 12 at maximum. If they're the equivalent of a battleship, getting into a game of cat and mouse will not go well for us. At any rate, our safest bet is to not provoke them for now. But it won't be long before they detect the Aldis approaching too. <sighs> this is going to be a long eight hours. Better to take rests in shifts. Elena. Contact me immediately if that Scorpion ship so much as twitches. Roger. Hey, what are they up to? Captain, we are receiving a transmission from the surface. Please report to the bridge. What's going on? Better get up to the bridge and check it out. What do you mean by surface? Putting it on screen. Leticia! Ray! I am so glad you are safe! You are facing off with a Scorpion ship, yes? What's going on? Leticia, why are you with Lola? We'll get to that later. Lola to the Akizuki. The Scorpion vessel is gaining altitude. It's begun to circle around while decreasing absolute speed. Decreasing absolute speed? You mean it is adopting an aggressive posture? We are still in the shadow of the planet, and cannot confirm this from our end. Tactical and schematic maps still display a predicted trajectory. Lola, can you send your schematics over to us? Already done. Thanks. There they are. Damn it. Cutting comms for now. Tactical and schematic maps updated. The Scorpion battleship will enter effective sensor range in three minutes. Already? Don't let your eyes off that enemy ship for a second. Enemy ship? Wait, are we that certain they mean to attack? Why would they suddenly break from the standoff? Man, what are they teaching you guys in the Federation these days? It's a textbook move. They took advantage of Eclipse Tactics' weakness. If they don't move, stay as they are and wait for us to approach them, they can continuously inch closer, and we won't notice until the very last second. It's a clear indicator of an attack. Hey, Duma, I thought you said they wouldn't come after us without a good reason. It is likely that reason to attack arose. This is no time for jokes! Where is the Aldis? ETA, three hours, 12 minutes. I figured as much. They knew. Guys, the Scorpion vessel is here. Break orbit. Course 120. Mark 180. Roger. Raise defensive shields. Reroute full energy to the rear. Got it. Energy signatures indicate they are preparing to attack. They are using optical weaponry. Shields at 65%. Restoring them now. Damn! Over 30% from a single hit? That's definitely a battleship. There's no way we can survive until the Aldis gets here. Can we escape? Impossible. We must abandon ship. Sayuri, turn to course 210, Mark 90. Set the autopilot to enter a high orbital trajectory. Roger that. All set. Mariel, is he going to do what I think? Just follow Captain Raymond's orders. Okay, now all hands to the transfer chamber. We don't have much time. We should hurry. Pike, 
Set the transfer to initiate as soon as we enter orbital trajectory. Um, where are we going? There must be a ship from where we last received transmissions from the surface. Put us down somewhere there. This didn't last long. Sorry, Akizuki. Tissia? We're safe, somehow. Far be it from me to interrupt this joyous reunion, but I've pinpointed the Emperor's location. They're still inside the Tyrannus. What? W what do you mean, the Emperor? There's a good chance that the Scorpion vessel that destroyed your ship just now is here to collect Colonel Valange and Gaston. And perhaps, the Emperor. And what is Bulldor hoping to accomplish aboard this strange ship? The Emperor knows of the Scorpion. Leaving them unaccounted for wouldn't be a good idea. Not for me, and not for Osarius. <laughs> Let us be off. There's no telling what they will do if we leave them unchecked. Got it. I'm with you. If they know something about that Scorpion ship, I definitely want to hear it. Okay. You will have to wait outside. The interior has been fortified by Colonel Valange and the others. Once we know it's safe, I'll have Raymond Lawrence contact you. Huh? Oh, yeah, gotcha. Understood. Ray. Be careful. Let's make our way. The Colonel and the others seem to be down on the lowest level. All right, then. I gotta say, though, seeing this ship crashed right into the surface like this is kind of impressive.
Looks like this is gonna be its own maze of sorts. You sure we can get through here? I, I can. I was just in there anyway, so I'll lead the way. It would seem there are yet enemies of the Tenerife. Best proceed carefully. system somewhere in the area. What's that now? Oh, you mean like an elevator? Just a cargo transporter. Are we sure we can take this?
target sighted. Life form detected. Sure, we can take this. <laughs> Feel free to take anything.
target sighted. Are we sure we can take this? can take this. Excited.
Turbo lift here. The Colonel and the rest should still be down on the lowest level. Target. Are you sure we can take this? I'm aware it's inconvenient, but we'll need to take this above first before we can use the turbo lift. Are we sure we can take this? Small organic life form detected. They want to find out. Destroy. Take this. Right 
neutralized. Target. Take this. Small organic life form detected. Are we sure we can take this? I could cuddle you all day.
Leticia, you ready to roll on your end? Ray, well, we have assembled everyone. All right, I'll initiate the transfer. Get somewhere you won't be seen. Hey, Antonio, I want you to meet my friends. Let's go welcome the princess and the others in the transfer chamber. Welcome to my humble abode, your highness. Ray, this is your ship? <laughs> Not so different from the Tyrannus, huh? But it is so different. There are so many lights. Ah, well, this ship is up and running, I guess. Antonio, I give you Princess Leticia. I am Leticia Osterius. Thank you, once again. A pleasure, Princess. I'm Antonio. Raymond, you've been traveling with such a stunning beauty this whole time? Oh, well... <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's make for the bridge. We'll be taking off soon. See that? There's your planet, Leticia. Aster 4. That is... our planet? Our world? To think all of our struggles have taken place in such a minuscule space makes one feel insignificant. Yes, but it is so very beautiful. No doubt about it. Right then. I suppose we'd best get going. Elena, Chloe, Miss Kenny. Roger. It's been so long. I'll, uh, do my best. We're counting on you, Aldous. Chloe, get us out of orbit. Keep thrusters at one-fourth power. Exiting orbital trajectory. Thrusters at one-fourth power. We have exited orbit. Now entering conventional space. All systems, green. Right then. I guess our first priority is to chase that ship carrying Bulldor and the others. I hope you're not intending to engage them. The Aldus won't stand a chance. Oh, yes, Ray. Here. This is from Lola. It is a record of the battle between the Scorpion battleship and the Akizuki from the Tyrannus. She hopes it will prove useful. Much appreciated. Okay, let's get this analyzed quick. I have no intention of taking them head on. All right. If we compile this data first, we might at least be able to figure out where the hell that battleship is headed. Under normal circumstances, it would likely be their homeworld. It may be safe to assume they are returning there. No such location that would correspond with the concept of a homeworld exists within Scorpium. Is that so? Scorpium is a collective of life that forms a network which spans the galaxy, with enormous spaceships traveling between artificial colonies and space stations. Well, couldn't those be considered their home planet? No. In this particular instance, all the bases and ships are also part of the overall Scorpium life form. That is correct. Hmm. So, you got any idea which one of these massive life forms they might be headed to then? The man known as Gaston contained many factors that differ from the current state of the Scorpium. Thus, the accuracy of any predictions we make will be low. Hey, hey, okay. Are you really telling me we don't have any leads right out of the gate? I mean, can't we use our long-range sensors to pick up their trail? Yeah, they're already way out of range of our sensors. Ah, for crying out loud. Oh, oh, what's that? Okay, take it easy. It's the sensors picking something up. It might even be them. Chloe? No, it's a Federation ship. They're approximately 36 hours away. A Federation ship. They may be coming to apprehend Sayuri and I. All right, it doesn't look like they're heading for Aster. Hmm. 
Want to test our luck and try to make contact? Hmm. Unlike the Astoria, they are making no effort to conceal themselves. At this distance, the Aldis should be able to outrun them as well. Not so sure about this. Chances are they picked up our signal already. It'd be more risky to just sit around and do nothing. Ant, patch a signal through open comms. Roger that. Opening a line of communication. Connection established. Putting them on screen. This is Captain Raymond Lawrence, aboard the Vergoldian transport vessel Aldus. State your name and affiliation. This is the Pan-Galactic Federation battlecruiser, Bella Golf. And I am its captain, Curtis Aldrich. I never expected to meet a member of the Lawrence family in the middle of nowhere like this. It's an honor. Permit me to skip the formalities, Captain Curtis. What brings you out to this middle of nowhere? We're en route to our destination and in a hurry. Though I'm not about to share any more than that with the captain of an anti-federation Bergoldian ship. Understandable. So I suppose it's just a coincidence that you happen to be heading in the same direction as the Scorpium ship that we happen to be tracking? You... how do you know of the Scorpium? We just recently engaged a Scorpium vessel, which had entered the Aster system. We've since determined that the ship was crewed by soldiers from the Federated planet of Veer. Captain Raymond, I think it may be best we exchange information. I should like to make contact with your ship. I must decline. You see, I was on board another ship, the Yidis, when it was taken out by an unlawful attack from a Federation battlecruiser not too long ago. Are you referring to the Astoria? I hear it was illicitly cloaked and attacked without warning. Oh, uh, oh. Well, if you know about that, then I assume the Astoria must already be hung out to dry. Actually, they're currently on the run. What? <gasps> the Federation's most advanced ship has gone rogue? Our ship, on the other hand, is in no such state. Transmit our logs to for gold if you like. We have nothing to hide. We make for the site of an emergency mission. Though, at present, we could use all the information on the Scorpium that we can get. Fine. Send us a rendezvous point. We'll give you an estimated time of arrival once we figure it out on our end. Much appreciated. Wishing you a safe voyage. Over and out. Coordinates for the rendezvous point received. Our ETA is 10 hours, 57 minutes. Ray? Uh, no. Captain, I think that we can trust him. I agree. We may gain some valuable information this way. Uh, you should be more worried about getting arrested. We have no reason to trust them or think that they have our best interests at heart. Arrested? Oh, yes. I suppose you're right. Either way, we still have 11 hours until we know for sure. All right, everyone. Let's take breaks and shifts. Um, and uh, what of us? Right. <clears throat> Allow me this opportunity to give you all a tour of the ship. Raymond may be the captain now, but the Aldis is still my ship after all. Uh, understood. You have my thanks, Sir Antonio. I wonder what Antonio has everyone up to. Hey, did my brother behave on your tour? Antonio is much more of a gentleman than you. Aw, thank you. So, what do you think of the Aldis? How should I put it? It's incredible! Oh, every last bit of it! Nothing short of incredible! Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. It's all so astounding. I don't know where to begin. Let me say this. Preventing him from wandering off whenever I look elsewhere is 
proving quite a difficult task. I know full well that this journey will be difficult, but it is quite thrilling to think I will experience what was spoken of in Larkis for myself. Glad to hear it. You're welcome to wander and check everything out at your leisure. Any questions, feel free to ask Antonio or myself. On that note, Chloe? Yes, Captain. If you hear a voice come out of that, do what it asks, okay? Yes, understood. We've prepared rooms for each of you in the living quarters. Rest up as much as you can until we rendezvous with the Vela Gulf. I have investigated Captain Curtis Aldridge. The record of his career suggests that he is quite the seasoned veteran. You need to make sure you show Leticia and the others the ropes of how things work out here in space, right? Everyone here is super What should we do with this cargo address to Veer? We've lost contact with Veer Triumph, so we'll probably have to dispose of it as undeliverable. Lola's from the same planet. Could I give it to her to take? It's so tough not being able to go home. It's so tough not being able... Fancy trappings of her life seem to have thrown Leticia and her friends for a loop. <laughs> I guess Theo was a no-show? Albert and I did ask him to come along, but he refused, citing the lack of laborers and post-war affairs, the need for negotiation with the Empire, and assisting Lola with the Tyrannus. He asked that I worry not of home, and to instead focus on my journey to the stars. Huh, <laughs> understandable. Tough position. But... I'm sure working for the betterment of the kingdom will help him feel better. I think so too. We need to find out what Boldor is up to. Not just for Osirius and Vale, but for Theo as well. Agreed. I wonder what Marielle's up to. She was up on the bridge last I saw her. An entire galaxy full of items new to the eye. <laughs> Be still, my beating heart. Midas was poking around a moment ago. He didn't break anything, did he? Simply say the word and I shall clap some restraints on him. Taking the crash course, I see? Uh, there's so much to learn. I'd like to at least get a little more familiar with the Aldus before we meet up with the Vela Gulf so that I may be of some use if the situation turns bad. Don't push yourself too hard. Must be plenty tired as it is. I can't allow myself to be tired. I don't want this to be a repeat of the Edis. I have a duty to protect the Aldus as a soldier of the Federation. I feel you, but getting proper rest also falls under your responsibilities as an Aldus crew member. So take it easy. Captain's orders. Got it? I'll do my best. Still so much Marielle and I both don't seem to know about this entire situation. Might be a good idea to see what Duma can tell me. Leticia and everyone should be in the common area. Hmm. I would like to know why you came aboard the Edis, Duma. We were dispatched to assess the integration suitability of Vergoldians. What? The? So the shippers we were dealing with were Scorpium? Affirmative. 
But the client sure seemed like a human, from what I could tell at least. The Scorpium Collective takes many forms. Some may appear entirely cybernetic, others as cyborgs or androids. There are also those who are entirely organic in nature. Ah, great. It is freaking horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo from unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you, all of Virgold would be Scorpium by now? Horrifying is an unfairly emotional evaluation. Integration with Scorpium is... Yeah, I don't care what you think, all right? Based on what we've seen and heard about it, that's how I feel. Deal with it. We cannot refute this statement. If Scorpium is truly acting in violation of our principles, it would be in defiance of our very existence itself. Are you confused? Do you even get confused? We cannot deny this possibility. There is a need for us to learn the truth of these events in order to carry out our mission successfully. We shall cooperate as much as possible when necessary. Oh, I'll see to it that you shall. Don't worry about that. After all, you're different from the other Duma, aren't you? Five minutes to rendezvous point. Ray, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Put him on screen. Right on schedule, I see. I'll be on board shortly for that information exchange we mentioned. You serious? A sign of good faith from us. After we rendezvous, we'll warp out for one minute. After the transfer, we'll immediately warp back in. Maintain your course. I've just sent the data. Data received. Huh. Looks to me like there's only one person in the transfer chamber. Not exactly thrilled about their terms, but seems we've got no choice. Understood. Maintaining course and confirming that of the Vela Gulf. Transfer will commence within one minute of exiting warp. Once Captain Curtis is aboard, we shall adopt a parallel course to the Vela Gulf. Captain's coming aboard? Uh, guess it's up to me to bid him welcome. Marielle, Leticia, come on with me. I'm not too savvy when it comes to Federation etiquette. Understood. Uh, I should go too? Yeah, all you gotta do is stand there. If there's three of us, it should deter Curtis from trying any funny stuff. Very well. Gotta admit, Captain, I wasn't expecting you to come along. It'll be easier for us to talk like this. Let's make this quick. The Vela Gulf is currently en route to the Manuk system. Captain, this emergency you mentioned. Are you Lieutenant Marielle El Kenny? There's a warrant out for your arrest, you know. I am aware of that and ready. We can explain all that and more in this intel exchange. First things first, though, can I offer you a cup of freshly brewed Terran coffee? Don't mind if I do. Goodness. To think such a thing took place in the Aster system. So, what is it that has you rushing off to the Manuk system? Manuk is currently under siege by a large fleet of Scorpium ships. Headquarters interprets it as a full-scale invasion. Ridiculous. That is impossible. I've been wondering about this. A Duma, I presume. You know about Duma? We've been gathering information on our end as well. The Duma are the ones proselytizing the Scorpium's integration ideology, correct? Affirmative. Scorpium is a being that seeks to evolve as a life form. Aggressive incursions are nothing more than an act that limits our evolutionary choices. It would seem the Scorpium are no monolithic entity. The faction currently attacking the Manuk system are known as the Centralists. Centralists? Ray, 
Do you think? Yep, Centralists. That's the name Bulldor mentioned on the Tyrannus. The entirety of Scorpium is composed of individuals linked without partiality. A central being cannot exist within our system. And yet Manuk is under siege by Scorpium calling themselves Centralists. How did Headquarters come by this intel? You know, Captain, it hasn't been that long since I left the Astoria, yet there seems to be too much new information. Hmm. Uh, there must be some connection between the Scorpium and the Federation higher-ups. Fleet Headquarters, specifically. Your assumption is correct. A significant number of fleet officers have broken off from the chain of command. Most of them were in contact at some point with the Scorpium on the planet of Veer. Headquarters decided to launch a rescue effort in the Manuk system. It's unclear who's friend and who's foe within HQ, however. We may even be following a Scorpium directive. And even if that is the case, you can't just abandon them, huh? Captain Curtis, the Aldous is in possession of Scorpium data compiled by a soldier who escaped from Veer. We are currently pursuing the Scorpium ship that came to Aster 4. I'd like you to analyze that data and identify the ship in question once we reach the Manuk system. This is invaluable intel. We're in your debt. Yeah, no worries. Just reimburse me for the Yidus once this is all over and we'll be square. I'll see what I can do. Thank you for your time. I'll get back in contact as soon as we've identified the ship that you're after. We've exited warp. Commencing transfer. Please be careful. You as well. Gulf has sent us a location. ETA to the Manuk system is 25 hours, exactly six hours behind the Vela Gulf. Don't sweat about what he said. The larger an organization, the easier it is to corrupt. Captain, please don't make light of it. Even a single ship deviating from the chain of command is cause for alarm. If all of these ships are under the influence of Scorpium, then the risk to the entire galaxy is very real. I too find something strange about all this. What do you mean? Little Duma's reaction. I also felt that what Captain Curtis told us did not line up correctly with what we heard from Lola. She stated that the Scorpium invading her home were acting in such a way as to avoid detection. I did not get the impression that it was attacked outright in the same way as this Manuk location is being attacked now. I think Lola's hunch may be right about Scorpium having infiltrated the Federation undetected. But isn't Duma also a part of Scorpium? It must be hiding something. Little Duma always remains silent when they wish to be deceptive. When they do speak, it is generally free of falsehood. This is why their assertion that Scorpium does not invade must be true. Right, Duma? Correct. Duma's the only link we have to understanding the Scorpium. We analyze the data from the Tyrannus, but we still have almost no idea of who or what the Scorpium are. We won't learn much of anything until we confront them ourselves. As I discussed with Captain Curtis, it's most likely that the Scorpium faction attacking Manuk are in cahoots with the ship Baldor is on. The Vela Gulf has kindly agreed to help us track it down. I have detected other unidentified ships also approaching the Manuk system, where the Scorpium battleship is heading. 
However, support from the Federation is still far away. The Vela Gulf, Aldis, and Manuk fleet will have to handle this alone. So what you are implying is that it will be a difficult battle. That is correct. What will you do if Boldor is aboard that ship, and we find ourselves forced into combat with it? All I can say is that we should be ready for anything, even if it means taking them out. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. Yep, you got that right. Which is exactly why I want you all to rest up before we reach the combat zone. I better get some rest too. reached the Manuk system. They have made contact with what appear to be two Scorpion ships. They are engaging in battle. All available hands to the bridge. The battle's already underway. Better get to the bridge. 